Hello, and welcome back to Grandma Susie's Kitchen. I'm Grandma Susie. Today we're going to be making a spinach cheese soup, cream of spinach, and it's really delicious. It's a keto recipe, which means that it's a suitable for weight loss diets, keto diets, diabetic diets. It has moderate amount of protein, it's high in fat, and has very low carbohydrates. The first thing I like to do when I'm cooking is to assemble all the ingredients and supplies I'm going to need for the project so that I don't have to stop and look for something. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting the ingredients, two eggs, half and half, which is a blend of milk and cream, garlic granules, and cayenne pepper, salt and pepper, cornstarch corn and cheddar cheese and some butter, a couple of tablespoons of butter. Then you're going to need a measuring cup, which is um, eight ounces, a spoon, a pan with a wire whisk, and I use a cake pan and I fill it halfway with ice cubes, put a little water in the bottom that's to cool it down fast after it's cooked so it doesn't continue to cook. You don't want the eggs to get overcooked or they start to separate and get lumpy. You want it to be a smooth consistency. So I guess that's it. And then a bowl to put the soup in after you're done. And some custard cups because you can have them for servings for the next two days to heat them in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to get a saucepan, put a couple of teaspoons of butter in it, turn on the heat, medium, and get your baby spinach. A couple of handfuls of baby spinach. put the lid on. We're going to let it saute for a few minutes until it wilts. Okay, I'll take off the lid, check on it. You can see it makes its own steam. Put the lid back on. The steam is actually what cooks it. It steams and just the juice that's coming off of the leaves of the spinach. See it starting to wilt. Once the spinach is wilted, it's ready. You don't want to overcook spinach. And preserve the nutrients as best you can. And turn off the stove and put it onto a plate. The spinach has a lot of stems in it, so you're going to use a knife to chop the spinach or a knife and a fork. You should chop the spinach enough so you don't see any more stems. This will make a smoother consistency when the dish is done. Put it back on the stove. It's cool. So then we're gonna crack two eggs into it. Just crack the egg and put it into the pan. And crack another egg. To the eggs, we're going to add some garlic granules. So a little sprinkle of that. And we'll add some cayenne, a little sprinkle of that, salt, you can measure it if you like, but I just like put it in, and pepper, and we're going to add some cornstarch to it. You can melt the cornstarch in water, dissolve it first if you want to, but I find it's not really necessary. Once you use the whisk, everything gets blended together, as long as it's cold. I don't turn on the heat yet at this point. Then we're going to add a cup of half and half. A 
I don't fill it all the way up to the rim because I don't want to spill it. Put that in your pan. I'm going to take a wire whisk and just blend everything together thoroughly. Then turn on the heat to medium. I'm going to continue to whisk this until it starts to thicken. When it starts to thicken and boil around the edges, then you can add a cup of cheddar, grated cheddar cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want to use. And continue to stir it around until the cheese gets melted. At this point, you can also add the spinach to it. You can see it's getting very thick. It's partly the cornstarch and partly it's from the eggs cooking. I keep stirring it so the eggs don't turn to scrambled eggs. You want it to be a smooth consistency. The mixture is becoming very thick now. When it starts to boil and thicken, then it's time to take it off the heat. And you can put it in a pan of ice water to cool it quickly. Turn off the heat. Just set it in a pan that has some ice cubes and water. This will cool it down quickly. You can hear it sizzle as it cools quickly. This stops the eggs from overcooking. It becomes firmer as it cools, as the cheese starts to congeal. After you've given this a chance to cool in the pan for a few minutes, you can take it out of the pan of ice water. Just cool down some. Then you can serve it into a bowl. It's gotten quite thick by this time. I'm going to have it as soup today, so I'm going to add some half and half to it. And then just stir it around. It cools the soup down and also thins it out a little bit. It makes a delicious cheesy spinach soup. The other thing you can do is put what remains in the custard cups. You can reheat these in the oven. Okay, until next time, this is Grandma Susie wishing you a good day. Take care, be safe. See you next time. Bye.